All right, I'm back here on the back side of my shop. I heard a weird sound come out of my little compressor back here. That's what I got. It's like a little 10 or 12 gallon tank. And then you got that, okay? And a little screw back here. After you get that little screw out, then you can pop away all the little tabs and move it up like that. So what you have in here, you have your regulator, you have your pressure gauge for the tank. That's the regulator that goes to the line. And then right here you have your pressure sensor that turns it on and off. There's a little screw right here on the end. You can actually adjust it. I didn't know this. But you can adjust your compressor for higher or lower pressures. You have your electric motor that turns the wheel that moves the piston shaft in and out. Well, let me see if I can get over here where there's... I went ahead and took this apart already. So all you do is you take those out like that. You can pull that back. And uh, what you're going to have is you're going to have this piece here. This is what your piston moves in and out on. Uh, the walls, they look like that all the way around. So what I did, because I've rebuilt the motor before, this is a cylinder wall hone. You can pick it up at your parts store, and what it does is it spins. And it's got these little graphite or whatever pads on it. So that way, you can sand the inside of the cylinder walls. Now, I didn't take it down all the way because that would have been too much. The other thing that I noticed, if you look at it right here, that's blown out. All right, I took everything inside. I cleaned everything off. Uh... Sanded these down just a little bit just to get the big stuff off and a little bit of that, but that's going to be on the outside. Then what I did was I took and uh, made templates and uh, new gaskets. Funny, I don't know what that looks like. Do you? It's all the way through it. This, my friends, is a male air compressor. It's got to be that. All right, so I put, I made gaskets. I had to do two on this one because this this particular gasket was really thick, and that's because this has to be able to lift and move inside there. So there has to be a little bit of a gap in order for it to move, for the air to pass through. So I'm just gonna put everything back together, and then I'm gonna show you a little trick that I've got to get that back in there. Um, I don't have anything that can fix this. This is some type of material that I don't have. So all I did was I moved it further over to this side, closest to the camera, so that hopefully it'll do a little bit of a better seal. We'll find out here in a second after I get this back together. Just like a uh, car piston, you gotta compress the ring that's around it in order to be able to slide it back through this hole here the piston cylinder and so I did that and then I'll be able to put this in front of it and push it into this that way it it goes in the right direction because you don't want that little edge piece to flip over backwards otherwise you're not going to have much of a seal or you won't have any of a seal you won't be able to push air in all right after you get everything slipped all together put the top back on it what I had to do was remember I showed you where the uh where the uh, uh, pressure switch was, there's a little screw on the end of it. I actually, I backed that out. So now it's turning off right at about 80 to 90 pounds because it really can't go past that. Anything past that and that seal that was around the piston is not pushing any more air anymore. So that's where I've got it set at. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Just this will help so that I can get my truck lifted up and down and uh, be able to do that until I can buy a uh, new compressor. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to upgrade a compressor. I've been looking at compressors and most of the compressors, the, the, uh, the uh, 10 to 17 gallon ones, they run anywhere from about 150 to $200. They all have the same motor on top of them. Any brand, they have the same motor on top of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, $200 one from uh, Lowe's. They've got one that's uh, 17 gallon, and uh, it's got it's uh, $200. So I got to save up and buy that. And then uh, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to 
put this tank in line with that one. So basically I'll have a 26 gallon to 27 gallon uh, compressor uh, with the same motor. And then uh, I'm probably going to end up using the innards of this one on my air ride setup. So that'll give me a regulator. It'll give me a pressure switch. And it'll give me some gauges that I'll be able to look at my system with. So save your parts. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment. Give me some thumbs up. Click that like button. And uh, tell your friends about it because uh, this is pretty good information. I'm going to look online to see if I might be able to find a, uh, a, new, uh, a new piston ring for this one. And if I can, I'll let you guys know somewhere down the line. If not, well, then I'll probably just, you know, I'm, I'm going to get a new one anyway. So, all right. Thank you again.